Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this video, I will go over when and how to use the Global Styles feature and the advantages of using it. Let's get started. So if I'm building a page with multiple container blocks, which have the same 80 pixels of paddings all around, and 40 pixels of bottom margin with a H2 headline in it. If you've seen my previous videos, you would notice that I would normally create the first one, then use the duplicate option to make the next few. Then make the tweaks for each of them, like adding a background color, etc. This works, but let's say I decided to add five pixels of border radius to all of the containers. I have two ways to do this. I can go into the settings for each of the container and add in the border radius manually like this. Or I could use the copy and paste style option, but you will see in this example that it doesn't work very well. As you can see, I've added the border radius, but it also removes the pink background color, which is something I'd like to keep. This is where the global styles feature comes in handy. Let's go to the dashboard of generate blocks, click global styles, and add our first global style. Let's add our container. The first thing I'm going to do is to change the unique ID of this container. We will call it main dash container. And I will use the same name for this global style element. Now let's go into the spacing panels and set our paddings to 80 pixels all around. Add 40 pixels of bottom margin and two pixels of border all around. Let's publish this global style. And see how we can use this. I've created a page called global styles. Let's go into edit page. And I'm going to refresh so we can use the global style that we've just published. Now we can go ahead and add a container. Use the toggle to turn on global style and choose the main container style we've just created. Let's go ahead and add two more. And then we will give 
the container a different background color as in the previous example. Now we will update the page and save our changes. And as in the previous example, now I want to add five pixels of border radius to all the containers. And this time I will go back to the global style and do it to the main container element. We will update the global style, head back to the editor, and we will refresh the page. As you can see, the border radius have been added to all the containers and the background colors are also kept. Let's go through another example and create a global style for a headline block. Add new. We will add a headline block. Change the ID. We'll use global dash H2. Same as the name, and let's set the font weight to 700. Remove the default margin bottom, and change the text color to purple. Click Publish. Now let's head back to the page editor. Refresh the page so we can access the newly created global style. Now we can add a headline block. Entered in our headline. Turn on global style and select global H2. We will do the same thing for the next two containers. Then again, if I want to increase the font size and let's say add some text shadow, I can go back to the global style and edit from there. Let's go with 42 pixels. Text shadow, add effect. Update. Now we head back to the page editor. First click update and refresh. Another advantage of using the global styles is in the performance itself. So let's take a look at the multi-containers example that we've done earlier. Open up the developer tool and you will see that we have the same CSS for all three containers. So this part right here. They're exactly the same. The difference is that we have to write the CSS three times and target the unique ID of each container.
Now let's take a look at what happens when we use global styles. Again, we will open the developer tool. Now the CSS is targeting the main container global style that we've created for all three containers. Which means we only have to write the CSS once no matter how many containers we're using. And the same goes for the headline block with global style. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.